just took a tumble. I'm not taking this seriously enough. Now this is dodgy o'clock, that is super icy. One slip now and it's all over man. My leg went in up to here. Man, it's gonna be hard to get out of here tomorrow. I got a, a bit of a disturbing text. He told me that there's an amber snow warning for the Lake District. All right, it's midnight. Let's check the tent. No, no. Gotta be careful here. This is normally water draining out, but it's all frozen, so accident waiting to happen. More frozen water, rock, ice. Just took a tumble, could have been a bad one. I felt my feet went under me and stepped over this ice confidently and ah, you gotta be careful, man. I'm not taking this seriously enough. Ow. It's proper, proper ice skating over here. And I landed on my elbow too, which could have been bad. So I just have to make good decisions and uh, I can improve on that. So as I fell, I actually got a little cut here. It's not a big deal at all, but there are signs that I'm rushing and not being as careful as I need to be. So I'm gonna take a breather. It's a beautiful spot over here in the sunshine. Take a little bit more time to strategize uh, and uh, solidify my plan for the next three days because I don't want to take any chances here. Super cold. Quick lunch, some noodles. Noodles are preparing. I have my insulated bottle here because I don't want my water to freeze. Let's go in the water. Let's take a cold dip. Come on. You only live once, right? I have a massive towel after. Like, this is fine. Woo hoo hoo! Oh, oh boy. Okay, let's do it, boy. Water temperature is, oh my gosh, wow. Water temperature is one degree, one degree. That's insane, that's the coldest water I've ever been in. Yeah, boy. This water is beautiful, but it's so cold, freezing. Woo! <laughs> Have a look how clear this water is.
I'm in the water and look, there's ice right there. Look, water, water here, ice here, ice. Okay, that was a cold one guys, nice hot noodles and a little bit of hot soup to regain the heat. Oh, perfect. Yes sir. What a beautiful spot and uh, yeah, change of strategy means we can enjoy this a little bit more. We don't have to rush as much better to cover less well than cover more and uh, not really experiencing any of it you know seems like so often in life we are chasing and it's all about the numbers the miles and the distance and the destination but really it's about the journey isn't it and the journey so far is pretty good Hard to make any progress at all when it's so fun, you know? I'm like a kid in a playground or in Disneyland. All right, we're approaching 2 p.m. and as you can see there isn't much sunlight left there in the horizon. It's running out of light quickly actually. Tell you what guys, being in the sun or the shade feels about 10 degrees difference. Not much light left so 
time to find the campsite. Holy moly, that's steep. I want to fall in there, buddy. You fall in there, it's game over. How spectacular is this? Wow. Gotta watch my step. Things like this, there's ice everywhere. There's ice everywhere here, so one sleep now and it's all over, man. Absolutely amazing. Now this is dodgy o'clock. That is super icy, super slippery. Really wanna watch your step now. No margin for error now. And this is the time when you make a mistake, you're rushing, you naturally want to get to camp, you're running out of light, and that's when you start rushing. So I'm gonna slow down, really take my time now. Look at this though, I mean, wow. These pools are amazing. Woo -hoo -hoo! Wow, look at this. 60 here. Stunning. Impossible to make any progress with this beauty. You know, you walk a bit more and then there's another pool and another one and another waterfall. Just gorgeous. Whoa. I'm committed now. There were flat spots for camping like two kilometers behind me and then another flat area two kilometers in front of me so I gotta cover ground as quickly as possible as carefully as possible and then pitch the tent on the first flat ground I find basically as much as I like to get into camp quickly I can't afford to sweat, so I'm forcing myself to stop and uh, cool down before I start sweating. about 3.30 and as beautiful as a camp spot this would be with the perfect grass too the sound of the water would drive me crazy I love nature but I also love silence and uh, I'm a bit picky with that so I'm gonna see if I can cross this uh, this little stream and find something on the other side nope, nope I don't like it find another way All right, let's give this one a try. <laughs> Not gonna take a chance. That's definitely my spot. I just gotta cross the river. I gotta find a way. Oh shit, oh shit. Grateful for my boots, otherwise I would have soaking feet by now. Absolutely dry. Getting cold really quickly now, losing dexterity in my hands, so I'm going to put some gloves on. You can't use your hands, you're screwed. Oh. Yeah, temperature's dropping quick now. Oh, let's go. Found a place to cross here, guys. This looks quite promising. Well, I crossed the river, but 
I took a dunk, my left leg completely submerged the boot. Shit. It'll be very difficult, if not impossible, to dry out my boot. That's what happens, you make mistakes guys. You live and you learn, I guess. No point beating myself up about it, it is what it is now. My, my leg went in up to here, so trouser is wet uh, and the boot inside is all wet. Need to get that tent up quick now, get warm in the sleeping bag. Hopefully I'll find a way to dry this boot out somehow. We'll see how we go. All right, the spot that costed me a boot. <laughs> Oh dear, that was so stupid. You make mistakes because you try, you know? If you're not making mistakes, it means you're not trying. So no time to waste. It's getting cold quickly. It's going to get super dark. Let's get the tent going. Well, we have another little problem that the ground is frozen. And I can't get the stake in at all. The stake is just bending. So luckily there's no wind right now and the forecast is for no wind but you know when you're in a mountain wind is your worst enemy a little bit unnerving to uh, not have a good pitch for the tent I'm gonna try and use the rocks you know for support it's not ideal but there's abundance of rocks here so make the best of it this will take a stake yay i tried it oh that makes you feel so happy all right Really running out of light now. Better get my head torch ready. Yes, baby. Yes, sir. That's really good. Yup. has to be with me pretty much at all times. If that freezes, then that filter no longer works. Gotta keep this on me, keep it warm. So quick update on the temperature. It's not even 5 p.m. yet, and the temperature is already minus six. Wow, <laughs> okay then. It's gonna be a cold one. I was expecting maybe minus three, minus four at the at the coldest part of the night. It's already minus six and the night's barely begun. It's very strange, but I could tell it was very cold when my trousers were began to freeze almost straight away after I dunked, you know? I'm in the tent already, I'm in the sleeping bag. I got all my layers on and uh, yes, yeah, a cold one. I actually wanted to get down to double digits, you know, it's, it'd be disappointing if it didn't. We're already at minus six and so let's see how far it goes. At dinner, I'm having this, nice and easy. I'm glad I kept it simple guys, cause when it's cold like this, you wanna be messing around cooking. You just want a nice meal, simple eat straight out of the pack. While it hydrates back, I'm gonna keep it inside my sleeping bag and it'll keep me warm as well, so kind of nice. Thai red curry for tonight. Oh, the sauna in here. Woo! <laughs> the steam, man, from the water. That's probably gonna end up as condensation and frozen on my tent. Yum. Mm. Hot meal. Does a lot for the morale. 
grateful to be here, grateful to be healthy and grateful to be living, grateful to have food, shelter, warmth, grateful that I could stake the tent, a lot to be grateful for. I've been watching the stars for the last hour, just popping my head out to that end. The Milky Way was visible with the naked eye and uh, saw a few shooting stars and really need to get into astrophotography to capture this. I wish I could capture it for you guys, maybe sometime. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Good night. Morning guys. 8 a.m. Slept quite well. The temperature peaked at uh, minus 9, something like that, around uh, midnight. This is my, my towel and my underwear that I used to take a dip in the water yesterday. Frozen solid. I believe there's snow in the forecast for today, so... In fact, I think it's already snowing and it's already snowed. Yep, there's definitely snow on the tent. Quite a bit of it by the look of it. Whoa! That's insane. Wow. Wow. Welcome to a winter wonderland, guys. This is absolutely incredible. Amazing. Yes, sir. Massive temperature change since yesterday. Much, much warmer today.
Nothing like the hot coffee in the morning, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. So, plan was to uh, explore a little bit further up the valley. At one point, I was considering going up to Sprinkling Tarn, which is probably four or five kilometers up from here, but no chance of that happening. It involves going through a very steep ravine full of slippery rocks and running streams and water and 100% uh, asking for an accident if I even attempt that, so no chance. I think I'm gonna stay put, guys, and enjoy this beautiful snow camp here for another night and just explore this immediate area here next to me absolutely wonderful here haven't heard haven't seen a single person and i don't think i'm gonna see anybody today yum <laughs> may not look like much but tastes good mm -mm -mm. knock knock knocking on heaven's door mm -hmm. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. This is knocking on heaven's door. We are, this feels heavenly, man. At least my heaven looks like this. Well, it's 11.30 a.m. and it hasn't stopped snowing. So I do want to go for a little hike, but not while it's snowing. I'm going to get drenched through and cold and it's just not a smart decision. I like to keep my clothes dry for tomorrow when I make a, a break for it and I can afford to get them wet then. Just hanging here in the tent, relaxing, enjoying the sound of the falling snow. And if it does clear up, then maybe I'll head out for a little hike. So I was reading a book called Alone in a Canoe by Michael uh, Kingsiger and I have a nice quote that I'd like to share with you. I could have lived a life like this, really, at least in the short term. I'm not sure if this is an escape or if the real escape is living or existing in the civilized world. One thing that a journey like this reinforces is the value of simplicity. In one's quest for happiness, it seems, we complicate most of the core values that truly bring us peace, tranquility, and contentment. I find enjoyment in contemplation, my thoughts, reflections, and dreams, solitude, and silence. So this little hike is uh, quite useful. It's giving me a lot of information as to what to expect tomorrow. And basically it's gonna be a really tough hike out in terms of navigation, in terms of not slipping. And uh, should have brought uh, more gear for the snow, the spikes for the ice and stuff, but hey, live and you learn. But I'm gonna allow myself a lot of time tomorrow just to make sure I, I don't make any mistakes. One of the things here with snow is that the landscape changes dramatically and Everything seems like you could just walk straight over it. For example, right over there, there's a nice, innocent looking uh, patch flat piece of land. But actually, if you look at the map there, there's a little tarn and that's what we're looking at. There's a little tarn there, so you could easily, easily fall through there. You could get in trouble quite, quite quickly. The silence right now is just incredible. 
super silent. Even the noise of the river is getting absorbed by the snow. I love being out here. It's just so, so beautiful. I think I've come up enough here. Uh, I'm gonna head back to camp and even hike a little bit the other way, check out the trail for tomorrow and see what we're dealing with. Let's go, come on. And in terms of finding a trail, well, a little a little faint giveaway that there's not much uh, grass growing on this bit you see go straight over there and then meanders up subtle but it's the trail this right here is looking like the Trail for tomorrow, sketchy at best. Really don't want to slip and end up in there, man. So I've explored the start of this trail. I don't really like it. Seeing it from the maps, I can see that it's running across a lot of contour lines very close to each other. That means it's very steep. It's also super close to the river. So I think my best bet tomorrow might be to cross the river again, maybe I'll take my shoes off and um, and wade across so I don't get my boots wet and then continue back on the other side over there because it gives me a lot more uh, optionality on that side. I could go further inland if I need to. There's my little camp down there, little spot tent there. <laughs> so let's go back to camp. Sweet home. All right, I'm gonna try and get rid of some of the snow. What happens when the fly gets squashed, it touches the inner mesh as well of the tent and then it gets wet and then whatever I touch from the inside gets wet, whether my sleeping bag, my clothes, etc. So important to keep those two membranes separate, the fly and the inner tent with a gap in between. Better. That's the angle we want. Isn't the tent looking a lot better structurally? Beautiful, much better. Nice to come back to some hot tea. Still boiling almost. Sounds like it's snowing quite heavy actually. The trail situation has me a little bit concerned. The trails are gonna be almost unrecognizable. Has me a little nervous in terms of making it back safely tomorrow. 
We'll take it a step at a time. Tomorrow's a new day. To be fair, this is what I came for, no? I came for an adventure, so if you're not a little bit scared, then it's not an adventure, right? Adventure it is. So I cleared the tent about a couple of hours ago and just the latest, the latest snowfall completely covered the tent, like massively. <laughs> so much snow. Wow. Look at this, look at this pile. Oh my god, it's still snowing. Oh my god. Wow. That is insane, man. Man, it's gonna be hard to get out of here tomorrow. I thought it had stopped snowing because I, you know, I couldn't hear it, but I couldn't hear it because it was completely covered and insulated from the sound, you know? In fact, I need to go clear probably the snow off the tent because it's too much weight. It's going to build up and compromise the tent. I wanted snow and man, did I get it. Look at the thickness of this. Just in the last 45 minutes, man. And look at the size of these snowflakes as well. <laughs> there I touched the ground there from here to the end so that's like nine inches nine inches of snow <laughs> temperature is falling now hopefully it won't get to minus nine like last night about 4 15 guys so it's gonna be dark soon time to get in the tent home sweet home 6 20 p.m guys fell asleep for about an hour there this whole winter camping thing is quite strange in the sense that you have to spend so long in the tent, you know? It gets dark around 4 p.m. and then it gets light around 8 p.m. So that's 16 hours of the day. The added benefit is not that many people come either. I haven't seen anybody at all. But uh, you start to remember the reasons why you don't see anybody at all. Still having a good time though. update it's almost 8 p.m i got a, a bit of a disturbing text through the garmin from mati from adventurous made my buddy he told me that there's an amber snow warning for the lake district and that the worst of the snow is supposed to start at 10 p.m and last for about four hours so if we get an additional massive snowfall that might push the threshold as to what's safe for me to attempt to come down or not can't move now it's dark and this that would be stupid that would be the worst decision to move now i'll try to take it a step at a time now and just roll with the punches as they come and the temperature today is just hovering around zero for now porridge for dinner i can't stomach anything else right now so porridge it is might be a soupy one but that's okay put some peanut butter in there and Dinner is served. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, 9.30. I just tidied up the tent in preparation for the snow dump. Gonna try and get some sleep and uh, maybe wake up in a couple of hours to check on the tent again. Good night, guys. All right, it's midnight. Let's check the tent halfway through the amber warning so good time to check it already a ton of weight here well still snowing quite heavy better remove this so it doesn't press down so much Oh. 
Mm. All right, see you in the morning, guys. Good night. Day three, 7 a.m. Time to get going. Well, it looks like my gas is running out too. Gonna give it a shake sometimes to get the pressure up. Hopefully we'll get this water to boil and then that'll be it, no more gas. Breakfast of champions. Amazing how you become accustomed to the cold. Uh, minus one feels mild right now. <laughs> Blue sky, yeah, hey. Right, everything's pretty much packed away now. Just gotta pack the tent and let's get on our way. feet are cold right now very cold Woo! oh my feet oh my gosh super numb the other path that we could have followed on that side is hugging hugging the river super steep and very unclear where to find it with all the snow so i'm opting to go this way Damn it, my foot went in. I thought I had the footing, I didn't, and my left leg went all the way down to my knee, so I better get moving now. Well, I can't help but admire the beauty still. My feet are cold, but I think they're stable. I think if I keep moving, Hopefully that will generate enough heat to avoid any frostbite or anything like that. So thankfully the temperatures are quite mild today, around zero, minus one. Thank God the sun is out as well. So that's really helpful. There's a little sheep trail here and this is where they bedded for the night. Little hole there, little hole there. So maybe they know the best way down the mountain. So just hit a quite visible path right here. You can see no vegetation growing despite all the snow. There's that bridge we passed on day one. Let's 
sheep are guiding me down here. All right guys, that's the end of the adventure for now. And I have my own adventure right now coming up and that's getting out of here safely because these roads are super dangerous. Ironically, I think this is the most dangerous part of the last three days and uh, what makes me the most nervous. And if you like this adventure, check out the channel as there's a ton of other adventures to explore, canoeing, hiking, sailing, fishing. Thanks for watching as always guys and see you on the next one. Over and out.